Oh, what? 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 That is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're like, the, the vegetables are crunchy. So it is like a pakora, but then you get this creaminess on the outside and it is like the most delicious, crunchy, like creamy dish. Mmm. What? That is really good. Welcome back to our channel. As some of you know, we got to try Punjabi food for the first time and it was so, so delicious. So it had sparked our curiosity into trying more Punjabi dishes. And tonight, we are gonna keep it vegetarian. So that brings us to this restaurant called Punjabi Indian Cafe. I am so excited to show you guys this authentic food. But first, if you are a new viewer, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the like, ring the bell, do what you gotta do. And uh, guys, it is time to try this amazing food. Let me show you what this restaurant's got. Wondering why there's nobody here? It's because the owner is so nice. We came here really late and he's gonna keep the restaurant open just for us. He's gonna just deliver us some delicious food. So normally this place is packed. Indian Cafe. I am so, so excited because we have come here. We've explored Punjabi food. It was so amazing though, um, but we haven't tried the vegetarian side. So I'm really excited. We ordered some very authentic Punjabi vegetarian dishes. I've never even seen before. That's our thing is we love to explore new dishes. So let me tell you what we got. Oh, of course. Okay. So we got a pakora, which I love, but we got the Punjabi. This is what it's called. Punjabi Kardi Pakora, which is, it says here, our Kardi from Punjab, special cooked in garlic, onions, yogurt, chickpea, flour, and spices. So that is what I love about this cuisine is all those different kinds of spices. I cannot wait to try that and try just the different flavors of it. Um, okay, the next one, we got the Alu Nan, because I read online, and you guys can let me know in the comments below if this is true, but the Alu Paratha is very, very popular in Punjab. So um, I got the Alu Nan. He's the owner of the restaurant says it's the same thing. It is Nan stuffed with mashed potatoes and lightly seasoned. Really excited to try that. Oh, okay guys, we got Punjabi Dal Makani. Now I've had Dal Makani, but I haven't had it Punjabi style. So this is black lentils, which again, I've never even knew that existed. Um, so black lentils and beans cooked on simmered heat, enriched with onions, tomatoes, spices, and finished off with a rich cream. My mouth is drooling. And then we got something that has like, I remember it like, sparkled in my eye. It's the Bangan Barata. This is a whole eggplant skewered and roasted in a clay oven, mashed and cooked in fresh ginger garlic paste and spices. So the last time I had this, it was like, it woke me up. You guys are leaving me comments below. That is because of the smokiness of the eggplant. So I'm really excited to try these dishes. Try a Punjabi style. There is just so much other amazing foods though to explore. It's hard to like do it all in one shot, but I am so excited to show you guys this authentic food.
So guys, our food has arrived. It looks absolutely amazing. I am going to start with the Punjabi Dal Makani. Take a look. Now, I haven't had the Punjabi style of it. See these black lentils? Looks like there's even kidney beans in there. So definitely a lot of protein. I've had the dal, that, the yellow dal, um, or maybe it was dal tadka, but it was super delicious, but I have not tried this one. Um, look at how fluffy this rice is. Perfectly cooked basmati rice. How I wish I can cook rice like this. <laughs> I gotta enhance my skills. I was thinking, because we do plan to travel to India, it would be amazing to do like a cooking class in India, like get the authentic cooking skills. So don't forget to subscribe. Um, okay guys, cannot wait to try this. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> okay, I have, oh, I have a bit of everything. I even have the kidney bean here. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm. Oh my gosh, the flavors are crazy good. They're way different than what I have experienced in the past. Okay, we got this mild because we want little Alfonso to eat. And this tomato gravy is so elegant. It's so light. He cooked it perfectly. The lentils are cooked to perfection too. They are not chewy at all. But the flavor, the spices, mmm. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, that is great. I love too the Indian cuisine. Like, we, they have different versions of this in every different state. And you can honestly taste the difference. It is really, really good. It has a very like, I don't know, deep spice flavor. That's kind of what I'm <laughs> going for. The black lentils though, I, I think they taste like any other type of lentil. Mm. Mm. But you know what? Because I've researched this, we're into like healthy stuff too, that the darker the vegetable, the healthier, it has more antioxidants in it. So we usually eat a lot of black beans. So I'm pretty sure that these uh, black lentils are packed full of really nutritious stuff. Okay, the, the dal is kind of cooled down for me. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like it's such a delicious way to get so much protein because these lentils are packed full of protein. You can get all of your nutritions from here. It is super delicious. Guys, I'm so glad I tried this dish. I cannot wait to show you the other dishes. The owner is from Punjab, so I'm getting authentic flavors, guys. Can't wait to show you the next dish. Okay, guys, so the next dish has arrived and it changed a little bit because the owner wanted to make it super authentic, so he gave us authentic naan. Now, this is called Lacha Parata. I might be saying that wrong. You guys let me know in the comments below. And then Lacha, he was saying, means like a multi-layered bread. So he says, this is very, very authentic. Over here though, okay, this was not what I was expecting. This is the pakora, but this is Punjabi pakora. See, I was expecting it to look um, like the other pakoras I've had. Cannot wait to try it. And I was asking him, how do I eat this dish? So you eat it with the parata. So guys, I'm so excited. Let's try it get a little bit of this so yeah I was just not expecting it to look like this see this cuisine just is always getting better guys and it always surprises you too all the flavors and the dishes Ooh, this is thicker look at that <gasps> that looks so good there it is <laughs> so you can actually see the layers multi-layered I like the crunch there was some butter on top it already kind of melted this is cooked in the tandoor oven let's take a good piece here though and the owner gets all of his wheat from India because there is a difference between American wheat and Canadian so he gets he makes sure that he gets it from India to make sure he keeps these authentic flavors 
Ooh. Guys, I want to get a little more. Wow. Not try this before. What is making it this beautiful yellow color? Oh, what? 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 That is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. They're like, the, the vegetables are crunchy. So it is like a pakora. But then you get this creaminess on the outside. And it is like the most delicious, crunchy, like creamy dish. Mmm. What? That is really good. What is those flavors? <laughs> that is so shocking because, mmm. First, I didn't expect it to look like this. And then the flavors. You know what I think, guys? I feel like, because a lot of you have been telling me to use mustard seed oil. I feel like this is what it would taste like. I have not tried mustard seed oil. But I just have a feeling that that might be what it is because it has like a little bit of a mustardy. It's not strong though. What is that? That is so good. Hold on, I gotta get more. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Guys, you gotta let me know in the comments below what is in this dish <laughs> that is so crazy good and like i love the crunch of the vegetables so it must have been deep fried maybe coated in some spices and then just topped with a very delicious gravy wow mm, that one that one like woke up my taste buds i'm alive now <laughs> That is so good. Oh my gosh. Let me know in the comments below, what is this dish and what makes it so like, as you can see, my energy is just like a little bit higher right now <laughs> because of that dish right there. Wow, guys, let me know. <laughs> okay, guys, so moving on to the last dish, the bangan parata. I have had this dish and it just sparkled in my eye. You guys are leaving me comments below saying that it's the smokiness and that's what makes this dish special. Take a look though at this one because this one is different than the other one that I saw. So this has more of like a tomato gravy. There's the eggplant. You see peas. So I'm really looking forward to trying this love that is you know different i can have the same dish but from a different state is completely different flavors you just never get bored we're gonna try it with the rice too fluffy rice okay guys let's try it this is this gravy seems a little bit more thicker than the dal Probably because of that eggplant that was just mashed. Oh, wow. Oh. Mmm. Wow. Creamy. Like filled with aroma. Filled with flavor. The smokiness is not as much as the last one that I had. This smokiness is just very smooth. Love it. This is a smooth dish right here you guys can let me know too in the comments like what makes this bang and burrata, the punjabi style different than the other ones it's so smooth it is so smooth mm. Mm. i wonder if there's lentils in there too because i feel like i taste a little bit of lentils again that's how the vegetarians get their protein you actually can get a super amount of protein from a vegetarian diet. Lots of fiber, of course, very nutritious, very, very healthy. The eggplant too, I love the use of the eggplant. Sometimes I 
like you see an eggplant at the store and for us we're like what do we use this like how do we use this like that that dish is great mm. wow it is just so elegant and so smooth like more light it's a totally different flavor than the pakora the punjabi pakora that was like shockingly like pow flavors this is the more smooth elegant light creamy i don't know how else to say it it's really really delicious guys wow mm. so many different dishes to try it really depends on your mood do you want something a little more pow do you want something more smooth that is amazing i kind of now want to try it with the paratha again guys super authentic multi-layered I think too that this one is not as um, like you guys are leaving me comments below that you can't eat naan all day every day but this is a more healthy version of the naan so you can have this all the time let's try it together Mmm. 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 I just love that feeling. <laughs> that feeling of like the creaminess, the naan, the chewy, the ugh. Can't get enough of it. It is so good. I just want to like lay back and enjoy this food. The bread with it though. I love it with the naan, so <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> it just takes it to like comfort zone level. Hmm. Wow. Totally happy right now. Totally in bliss, guys. We have a lot of food. We are gonna sit here, we're gonna enjoy this amazing Punjabi vegetarian food. Guys, it is incredible. <laughs> Okay, guys, I am here with my professional dessert taster, Alfonso. <laughs> and we are here to try the owner's homemade ice cream. And they have tons of different flavors. So, Alfonso, do you want to tell everyone what this one is? This one, you, we try this. It's the mango and this. And my mama never tried this one. It's the pumpkin. Yes, so I have not tried pumpkin before this is all homemade from scratch here um, and then of course Alfonso loves mango and his name is like Alfonso so you got to try it yeah, so, um, <laughs> um, they blend the mango remember oh yeah he's explaining that they blend the yeah, mango like that <laughs> okay give me your spoon I'm gonna I'm gonna give Alfonso the first bite so th since this is very homemade you can see that it is super thick I'm thick here try this bite. What do you think of this homemade mango ice cream? Thumbs up? I Double thumbs up. I knew he was going to like it. <laughs> so this one is the pumpkin. Whoops. Because ah. <laughs> it's really thick. <laughs> yeah, it's so okay, thick. let me try the pumpkin one. All homemade from scratch here. It'll probably soften up in a bit. Okay, guys, let's try. Probably have to help with those. Ooh! I need, mm. I need some help. Oh my gosh. Okay, you should have got the pumpkin. It was really good. <laughs> Alfonso's having trouble with the ice cream. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can. There we go. See, once it starts to melt, it is like really good quality ice cream. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Mmm! The pumpkin is so good! You want me to try it? Yes. Okay. Is it yummy? Okay, I want Alfonso to try the pumpkin because it is really good. It has like some cinnamon in it and it's not too sweet. Okay, you ready? What do you think? That's fine. It's good. Which one do you like better? The mango, yeah. And this. You like that too? Oh, which one is better? Yeah, which one is better? What? Wait, are you saying the pumpkin is better? No, no, this and this. Oh, but you have to pick one. <laughs> I think he likes both. Oh, oh my gosh. I like both. Okay, he likes both. 
Mmm. When it's ice cream, Alfonso likes anything. Ice cream. That was a big bite. Oh my gosh, guys. The pumpkin is super good. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> wow, what a perfect way to end this amazing meal. It like cools down all of those spices. So guys, we're gonna stay here. We're gonna stay here for like two minutes because Alfonso's gonna just devour that really quick. And yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Wow, guys, another amazing meal. Oh my gosh, my heart is full, my stomach is full. This food is delicious. You guys have to check this place out. Like this video, subscribe so we can continue making videos for you guys. And on that note, just keep on dancing. Keep on dancing.